My Tarotist is now in session. Hey everyone, I'm Jessica. I'm the owner of My Tarotist. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited you're here. Oh my gosh. Um, this has been a long time coming for me, so I just wanted to introduce myself. If you're new here, welcome. Please watch um, all of the videos. Watch everything because you need to. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know if you need to, but... I would love it if you did. Um, <laughs> I am what I consider an intuitive, intuitively guided tarot reader. How is that? A um, couple things out of the gate, right? One, I'm not a psychic or a medium, although some of my clients might beg to differ, but I would never say that about myself. I'm guided by my intuition or by spirit. I'm spirit-led. These are spirit-led readings, friends, okay? So if you're not into like more spiritual tarot readers, maybe we won't vibe, but stick around because you might learn something or it might still be entertaining or useful to you. Um, and what else? Oh, I'm not an astrologer. I know that, that a lot of people think that in order to read tarot, you have to know astrology or vice versa or whatever. Somehow they're interconnected. They can be, but they don't have to be. Like you can read tarot and not know a thing about astrology, to be honest with you, and still give very good readings, okay? I just want to get that out of the way. Um, the reason why I have my readings by sign is because it just makes it a lot easier for you guys to find them, right? And it makes it a lot easier for me to be able to tap into certain people's energy. Now, let me just say this. I will sometimes call out signs in my readings and I do know which cards represent, you know, in the major arcana represent particular astrological signs. So it's not that I won't make mention of it because I do have a basic understanding of astrology. It's just that don't ask me like read your birth chart or tell you like this planet's conjunct to that and whatever, whatever. Like, I don't know and I don't care that much, you guys. It's interesting, but it's not my thing, okay? Come here for the tarot readings, come here for the good times and the good vibes and the fun. And uh, that's the reason you come here. Um, the reason why my business is called My Tarot Pist is because um, my whole thing is like, I've been, I really am a strong believer in therapy. I believe in holistic therapy. I believe not just in, you know, talk therapy, what some of you think of is like going to sitting with the therapist and talking for an hour and then going home and whatever, right? I think that's incredibly valuable. I think everyone should be in therapy because I personally have benefited a great deal out of um, my journey in therapy, right? I've learned a lot about myself. It helps you to really um, have an objective viewpoint on situations and circumstances in your life. And to also kind of like, to me, therapy like really shines a mirror in front of you and in and your situation in your life. And so you can see things a lot more clearly. Um, so my whole thing about therapy and the tarot is that the tarot can also do a similar thing, right? It shines that mirror in front of you and helps you to see things more clearly. In addition to that, it also provides you with um, guidance on your journey. It helps you to like really discover things about yourself and see situations and things and people and things in your life in a way that is so much more impactful than if you're just like driving blind. Do you know what I mean? Um, to me, it's a way to channel messages directly from spirit. So there's no confusion because it's a particular language that we're learning to speak, right? And it's sort of like, um, I've known so many people throughout my life and throughout my journey, right? Who are very spiritual people, but sometimes just your head and your or or people that are very logical people right very intellectual very logical very well read you know very smart and make very logical sound decisions in their life however listen and then i know people that are very emotionally guided and emotionally emotionally led sorry so the thing about the tarot is it takes all of those energies right your passions your emotions your intellect your wisdom your reason um it combines and, and your groundedness, right? And it combines all of those elements together. That's why I'm more interested in like elements when it comes to the tarot and, and the energies and what they represent rather than like, you know, um, a Taurus is coming to bring you a gift from a Gemini tomorrow or some shit, you know. Anyway, I digress. Point is, is that what I love is that even in our own lives, even if you're a highly intuitive person, even if you're a highly um, emotionally, um, um, have very high emotional intelligence, even if you're a person that is very like 
grounded and logical and, and, and all these things, right? We all have this issue sometimes where we can't really see the forest for the trees, you know what I'm saying? Where it's kind of like your head and your in your heart can sometimes get in the way in the way of you like listening to your intuition and being guided and led by spirit. For me the tarot is just like, here's the clear message. Now go and do what you will with it, right? And I really want to help empower you on your own journey, one towards healing. So most of the readings that I'm probably going to do on this channel will be more therapeutic in nature, hence therapist, less about, you know, who's coming toward you in love. Although I started out doing love readings and I'll probably do more, but I'm more interested in you guys having that guidance and that clarity on your journeys. I'm more interested in directing you toward um, therapeutic um methods that are going to bring healing for you, that are going to help guide you in this life, that are going to give you some practical tools that you can use on a daily basis, right? To help balance your energies on a daily basis, to help you to make the best decisions for your life so that you can live your best life. That's what I'm all about. And I'm not perfect. I'm incredibly flawed, as are we all. <laughs> so maybe some days, you know, um, the readings won't align for you. Um, maybe some days it's not your message, and that's okay too, friend. You know, come back when you're ready, or go check out another tarot reader. There are so many amazing ones on this YouTube, okay? I'm just one of many, of many, 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 right? But I hope that you vibe with me. I hope you get my message. I hope that you love it here. Oh, one more thing. I just want you guys to know, because I'm going to pull a card for our journey. But what I really want you guys to know is also, just so no one gets frustrated, this is how I do my cards. I only take jumpers. I do not pull the cards because I like to have my hands off the wheel as much as possible and truly, truly be led by spirit when I do my readings. And so, you know, it sometimes I take some time to get the jumper. Sometimes, you know, the messages take a little minute to like um, percolate and come out. And that's okay, right? So have patience with me if you're watching my readings, okay? <laughs> um, that's just my way, friends. All right, let's see here. Um, what is a card for our journey together on this channel for all my subscribers? What is um, a card that encapsulates the message for our journey together, me and my subscribers, to my therapist? Ooh, okay, let's see what we got. Oh, friends, we got the Ace of Cups, we got the Eight of Cups, we got Justice, and we got the Ten of Pentacles. Friends, I see that this is going to be a very healing relationship for both of us. <laughs> I think that for a lot of us, we, um, a lot of you are probably really trying to follow your heart and be led um, by your intuition, but it's all those things, right? But you're also trying to get that balance and that stability in your lives too, right? Trying to find justice, trying to find truth. I think we're all on this journey to find truth together, and I think we're going to find it because we end with a ton of pentacles, and this is a really beautiful, beautiful way to end. So I see a lot of abundance in this journey together, and I see us all coming together with um, a really great sense of, um, of balance, of harmony. And I think that there's going to be a lot of you that are coming to my channel who might be leaving some maybe heartbreaking situations, maybe some situations, yeah, where you're kind of like a lot of you might be a little bit emotionally imbalanced. And that's okay, friends. Queen of Cups reversed with this Eight of Cups energy. But I think together... We're going to get you that justice back and we're going to get you that Ten of Pentacles, right? Yeah, I think we're seeing clearly and, and, and creating ways for us to have a sense of abundance overall, for us to really get some really practical, like I said, wisdom and guidance and direction. Um, that's going to help balance those emotional energies in particular. Some of you are, have lost some love. So let's see if we can't write those wrongs for you so that you can have your ton of pentacles in this journey together, my friends. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks. <laughs>
Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to watch more videos. Thank you.